Hey everybody, it's your girl Naj, aka Air Fryer Bay, and sis is back because today we finna air fry these Trader Joe's apple blossoms. Okay? <laughs> I just want to say shout out to my best friend Shiro for putting me on to these delicious yummy apple blossoms like she got them from her local Trader Joe's and she gifted them to me why listen these things ain't no joke so I want to come on here and show y'all how I make them listen it's Sunday evening and this sweet tooth is pop, 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 popping so why not air fry these and listen your, your taste buds they gonna thank you I'm trying to tell you they do come frozen and they also come two in a pack. Listen, I know it says contains two servings, but guess what? I ain't gonna judge you if you eat two of them, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick review and then I'm going to, you know, get into the air fryer. Okay, so this is the front. On the side, it is giving you just a little bit of information. It's just letting you know it says apple blossoms. It's really just a fancy name for delicious single serving apple pies with a tasty bit of cinnamon crumble on the top. Listen, they are delicious. They also, let me see. They say they're fully baked and ready to eat. They can be warmed in the microwave or conventional oven. Following the instructions, they say you can add ice cream or whipped cream to the top. Um, you got another picture here. Uh, calories and stuff here, but I don't nobody want to know all that. The ingredients, um, it tells you the heating instructions here. If you use the conventional oven, okay, of course they come um, frozen, so you're going to heat them. I mean, you're not going to heat them, but you're going to, you know, cook them while they're frozen. You're not going to let them thaw out. It says you're going to preheat oven to 350 degrees. Well, we're not going to use the oven. We're going to use the air fryer, and it says you're going to remove them from the wrapping, place them on the baking sheet in the middle of the oven. Of course, we're using the air fryer, and then we're going to heat 15 to 20 minutes or until the center is warm. Let me see what else we got going on here. All right, so this is where you open it up. Yeah, so let's go on and open this thing up. All right. All right, so there's one. And here's two. Here's one of them. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. All right, so we're just gonna take this out. It looks just like that, frozen, hard as a rock. All right, drop that there. All right, so let me plug the air fryer in. Which one of these cords is it, okay? You don't need no oil, no spray, no nothing. We're just going to do what the director says. All right. 350. 20 minutes. All right, guys, so we're at the seven minute mark and I gotta tell you, these apple blossoms got it smelling good up in here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Don't that look like a nice, hot, fresh apple pie? Yes, we're gonna put this on a plate. Okay. Okay, guys, so the apple blossom is done. I've already taken my pictures. I'm just trying to get my ice cream out of this container and then I'm gonna take my first bite. Why won't this, uh, okay, come on. <laughs> and by the way, you do wanna let it sit for a good five minutes cause it is extremely hot. All right, so you don't wanna be out here burning your mouth. All right, so here's my ice cream. Oh, it ain't have to fall like that, but y'all hear that crust, right? Nice and flaky. I'll give you guys a close-up. That looks good. All right. Ooh, good. Mmm, mmm. Yummy. Get into it. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Y'all already know what I'm about to say? Air fryer, babe. <laughs> All right, hold up. Okay, 
there we go. So you already know what I'm about to say. Air Fryer Bay has done it. Uh, yeah. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>